My presentation is on ways to boost the immune system with day-to-day -day tasks that we can do. I broke them down into three categories, including diet, daily lifestyle, and maintenance habits that we can all take part of. The first subcategory, diet, includes the consumption of food-based pre- and probiotics, the reduction of sugars, added sugars in our diet, and the addition of fruits and vegetables to our balanced diet. Pre and probiotics can help promote a healthy balance of bacteria in our stomach, which reduce the chances of infection in our stomach, and as well as reduce the chance of bacteria, bacteria causing diarrhea. Cutting out added sugars from your diet can also help in boosting your immune system, a study conducted by the Mayo Clinic showed that eating foods that are high in added sugars can sometimes weaken the white blood cells and inhibit their ability to fight off viruses and infections. It is important to make sure we're eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, especially during peak cold and flu seasons, because there's vitamins that help our immune system, such as C, B6, and E. C is an immune booster. B6 helps chemical reactions in the immune system, and E actually helps the body fight off infection. This leads us to the next subcategory, daily lifestyle, which includes exercise. Exercise is important to immune system health because it boosts microphages, which help the body attack foreign invaders. It is important that everyone receives their recommended daily activity. Reducing your stress level is also an important part of keeping your immune system strong. Stanford University recently released a study that says stress can increase inflammation in the body and inflammation oftentimes impairs immunity. Another way we can boost our immune system is through sleep. Stanford University studies say that sleep is a way to restore our body. This process works directly with our immune system, and it can be compromised when we don't get enough or fall outside of a consistent sleep schedule. The next subcategory is maintenance activities that we can do. The reduction of excessive alcohol consumption has shown to be beneficial to the immune system in both animal and human research. The 2015 to 2020 Dietary Guidelines for Americans advises that women drink no more than one drink a day and men should consume no more than two drinks per day. Similar to drinking alcohol, smoking is also shown to impair our ability to fight off infection not just in the lungs, but at a cellular level, according to research conducted recently by Stanford University. As you may be guessed, staying up to date on all your vaccinations, as well as an annual flu shot, is also a way to boost your immune system. Last, but certainly not least, is hand washing. People often infect themselves with the germs that they have on their hands, by touching their face or other entries to the body. Thoroughly washing your hands for 20 seconds, often and as regularly as possible, can ensure that all these bacteria and viruses are killed off of our hands before they're able to enter our body. The article I used was one from usnews.com and I found it reputable because it used data from universities and research studies, which were very clearly cited under every snippet of information they used. I found this important because my job, like I'm sure many others, have been deemed essential, and they continue to stay open during this pandemic. So it is important to be able to naturally boost our immune system as we expose ourselves to the COVID-19 virus every single day. Thank you and have a good day.